Gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Joyce, for five minutes. Mr. Speaker, I rise to address the House and ask to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, there's a reason that we hold our law enforcement, our firefighters, and our paramedics in such high esteem. It's because these men and women are called to protect human life. As a doctor, I swore an oath to first do no harm and to protect the sanctity of human life, working to care for those who are vulnerable. Here in Congress, we also swore an oath to protect our country and to protect our citizens. And that means that we must all stand for life. I'm proud to stand for those who protect human life at all costs. I'm proud to have cast my vote in favor of the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act. And the Senate must urgently take up this important piece of legislation to protect human life. Mr. Speaker, we are all called to love children who are created in the image of God. This nation must bind together and work to protect all of those both born and unborn. And this Congress must always stand for human life. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, this week we celebrate National School Choice Week and recognize that parents have the right to choose the school that is best for their children. For the past three years, We've seen lockdowns and curriculum that failed to provide American students with the education that they so desperately need and want. American nine-year-olds have now lost two decades of progress in math and reading after prolonged school shutdowns and closings. It's clear that parents need to once again have a greater say in their children's education. To make sure that that happens, Congress must act to protect these parents by passing the Parents' Bill of Rights. Parents have the right to know what their children are being taught in school. Parents have the right to see their child's school budget and the spending. And parents have the right to protect their children's privacy and to ensure that their children are safe in school. Congress must commit to passing legislation that puts students and parents first. Let's work to recover the education that was lost during the school shutdowns. And let's work to create a future that is built on freedom. Freedom for students, freedom for parents, and freedom for families. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I 